Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. If you like design and using 3D printing to solve real world problems and not just printing trinkets, this channel's for you. So what I have on the bench this week are two of my favorite things. It's a Chick-fil-A chocolate milkshake and a Toyota FJ40. It's only a model. Okay, fine, not this one. This one. And even though this and this are two of my favorite things, when I want to go get one of these and this, there's just no place to put it. Toyota launched the original FJ40 Land Cruiser in 1960. And even that was largely based on the design of the original BJ that came out in 1951. Cup holders just weren't something that you thought about in a utility vehicle. The first Chick-fil-A didn't even open until 1967. And Starbucks didn't offer drive through service until 1994. But here we are in 2022, and what was at the time designed to be one of the most simple, rugged, and utilitarian vehicles is now sought after by folks like myself that appreciate that simplicity, ruggedness, and timeless Toyota styling. But darn it, I still want a place for my milkshake. So this is my 1978 Toyota FJ40. And the thing that attracted me to this specific vehicle when I picked it up last year was that everything in it is original. Everything that this vehicle rolled out of the factory floor with in 1978 is still in here and it all still works, which is pretty amazing. I love the fact that it's all original. I wouldn't think of changing anything in here. I know a lot of guys do power steering mods, add Bluetooth. I love all the drama of the manual steering and all the original componentry in here. But I'll admit, I want to be able to take this thing and pick up lunch and have a place to put my drink because it's a stick shift. So there's really truly no place to put your drink. There's no way to hold it while you're driving. Toyota was nice enough to put a steel center console in, and I used that to hold a 3D printed cup holder that I designed. And I really tried to stay true to the original industrial Toyota design. You can see I have uh, old style Toyota lettering on there, and I kept it very, I kept the, the edges, uh, you know, sort of sharp, uh, just with a bevel rather than rounded. And I left, I, I considered having the actual print uh, follow the, the angle rise in the center console, but I kind of liked the, the shadow line and the look of it uh, sitting flat on the bottom, um, you know, with that, that rise in the steel part and the plastic part remaining level with the vehicle. And this is designed to hold uh, two cups. Um, in fact, it was, had two cups in it today when I went out and picked up lunch. Uh, they fit in there nicely, and this pocket in the rear is actually just designed to hold your, your phone. So I switched to the driver's seat here to give you kind of an idea of what this thing looks like from the driving position and what the ergonomics are, and it's it's very good. I put, you know, quite a bit of thought into the design uh, for this. The, the dimensions, um, as far as the, the depth and the width, are a very close match to what is in my 2020 uh, Tacoma, and the pocket for the phone in the back is sized for a uh, standard mid-sized phone. You're not going to fit one of the full-size like phablet phones in here, but if you have a small phone or a mid-sized phone, it fits great. Uh, and, you know, from a design like aesthetic perspective, again, I really tried to think, you know, what would the engineers in 1960 have done at Toyota if they were tasked with adding a cup holder to this vehicle? And I kind of tried to put myself um, in the same mindset as the utilitarianism of this vehicle um, and everything having a function and the form being, you know, limited to sort of protecting that function. Um, and that's why, you know, I went with fairly hard edges, uh, the way that these are beveled. Um, and I thought that the Toyota lettering on there in the old style kind of gave it a nice touch. I'm really happy with how the finish came out on this. Um, the, the way that you control your, your layer height, uh, particularly on your upper layers and the speed at which you run, will have a great impact on the, the texture of the plastic. And this guy doesn't even really look like plastic. It has just sort of a, a matte look to it, which I, I just, I love. So it is a little bit hard to see the rest of the design characteristics of this in the vehicle. So let's just go take a look at this guy in Google SketchUp. Okay, so here's the design for this. And hopefully seeing this in SketchUp, you can get an idea of the proportion of the actual cup holders to the total design size. Um, I ran everything pretty much up as close to the edge as you'd want to go with it without it looking like you've just run right into the edge. Um, and you can see that bevel that I put on the openings here for both the cup holders as well as the, the phone holder in the back. 
Um, the only place that it has a rounded edge, other than the corners that match up with that insert um, space in the steel console, uh, is down here at the bottom. And I did that so that these are easy to wipe out if anything does spill down in there. Um, I never understand why automakers will have cup holders that just have hard edges at the bottom. I guess it's a, an aesthetic, but it makes it just about impossible to wipe the darn things out. This has a nice curved edge just at the bottom there, and it also kind of acts to self-center the, the cup as, you're, as you place it in as well. Uh, the Toyota lettering, I tried to match the, the original uh, Toyota logo lettering as closely as possible, and this is raised one and a half millimeters from the, uh, from the surface. Um, you can see overall depth. I'm using almost all of the depth that is available in that console space. The bottom face of this sets on the bottom of that steel center console. Um, the phone one I raised up just a little bit higher um, that just seemed about the right depth for a pocket for your, your phone without it kind of getting so far down in there um, that it's a bit hard to, uh, to reach for. So this is a snug fit in that steel console. Um, there's no screws that hold it in place. It would pretty much stay in place just pressing it in. Um, but what I did on mine was uh, before pushing this into that center console, I just took some uh, clear silicone caulk and I just S'd back and forth on the bottom of this guy um, in a pretty thick fashion and then pushed it down into place. Should I ever want to take this out, that silicone caulk is not going to stick to the paint so hard that it's going to remove it or damage anything. Um, but it acts as a nice dampener and it just also keeps things really snug and, and nice and tight in place. So I think that's about it for the design, guys. And, you know, if you have an FJ40 and you're watching this thinking, gosh, I wish I had a 3D printer, um, well, it might be a good time to get one. But if you're not interested in taking up a new hobby and you want to pick one of these up for your own rig, um, I am going to make these available for sale as well. Um, there'll be a link down in the description of this video and also on my site, fpfdesigns.com. If you do have a 3D printer, the STL that you need to print this guy is freely available to download right from that same site, fpfdesigns.com, and that will also be linked down in the description of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you know I really appreciate your likes and subscribes. So if you got something out of this video, if you enjoyed it, take an extra second, hit that like button, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, hopefully it was interesting, and if you want to come back next Friday and see another one, hit that subscribe button and you'll get an alert in your feed. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.